Welcome to Senior High School Math Series. In this presentation, let us discuss probabilities and percentiles under statistics and probability. Here are our learning competencies. Computes probabilities and percentiles using the standard normal distribution table. Find specific values using the standard normal distribution. Let us begin with ponder on this. The coconut vendor using his sharp edged blade to cut the coconut to get the juice and the fruit inside is a common scene in the streets. Looking closely at the resemblance of a normal curve in the blade makes us realize that mathematics, statistics for this matter is just all around us. It is a common thing in most of the situations and experiences that we have every day. The markings on the sharp edged blade shows that the coconut vendor or the book of vendor strikes the coconut more frequently on the part where the blade shines the brightest. Also, this shows that the blade hits the coconut deeper on that part in more times than the other part. The part where the sharp edged blade shines the thinnest hits the coconut being sold the least number of times and in a more shallow part. The standard normal distribution curve is used to solve a wide variety of real world problems and the only requirement is that the variable must be normally or approximately normally distributed. To solve practical problems using the standard normal distribution, transform the original variable to a standard normal distribution variable or z value using the formula z is equal to x minus mu over sigma, where z is the z value, x is the raw score or the original variable, mu is the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. Let us have example number one. A single resident of Metro Manila produces an average of 700 grams of waste a day. Assume the standard deviation is 155 grams. If a person is selected at random, find the probability of him generating letter A, less than 500 grams of waste a day. Letter B, between 600 and 750 grams of waste a day. Letter C, more than 550 grams of waste a day. Assume the variable is approximately normally distributed. Here is our suggested solution for letter A. We're solving for the probability that a person selected at random generates less than 500 grams of waste a day. For step 1, we draw the figure and represent the area as shown. Since 500 is less than 700, then 500 is to the left of the mean and the area to the left of 500 is shaded. That means we're solving for the probability that a person generates less than 500 grams of waste a day. Step number two, find the Z value for 500 grams using the formula. So we have Z is equal to 500 minus 700, that's the mean, over the standard deviation of 155. From here, we will get negative 1.29. This means that 500 grams is 1.29 of a standard deviation below the mean of 700 grams. This is shown in the Z distribution as follows. For step 3, use the Z distribution table to find the area under the normal curve. To the left of Z is equal to negative 1.29. The discussion on finding the area under the normal curve is on the video presentation entitled Regions Under the Normal Curve. If you haven't seen it, the link is on the description of this video. The area under the curve to the left of Z is equal to negative 1.29 from the table is 0 0.0985. Hence, the probability that an individual generates less than 500 grams of waste a day 
is converting 0.0985 to percent then we have 9.85 percent letter b we are to find the probability that the person selected at random generates between 600 and 750 grams of waste a day for step one we draw the figure and represent the area as shown 600 is to the left of 700 and 750 is to the right of 700 Next, we find the two Z values that corresponds to 600 and 750. First, when X is equal to 600, so we have 600 minus 700 over 155, that is the standard deviation, equal to negative 0.65. For Z sub 2, when X is equal to 750, we have 750 minus 700 over 155 is equal to 0.32. This means that 600 is 0.65 of a standard deviation to the left of the mean and 750 is 0.32 of a standard deviation to the right of the mean. For step 3, we use the z-distribution table to find the area. The area to the left of negative 0.65 is 0.2578 while the area to the left of 0 0.32 is 0 0.6255. Hence, the area between the two z values is given by the difference 0 0.6255 minus 0 0.2578 is equal to 0 0.3677. That is the area between the two z values. Therefore, the probability that an individual generates between 600 grams and 750 grams of waste a day is 36.77%. Let us have letter C. The probability that a person selected at random generates more than 550 grams of waste a day. For our step 1, draw the figure and represent the area as shown. Since 550 is less than 700, then 550 is to the left of 700. And since we're solving for the probability that a person selected at random generates more than 550 grams of waste a day, we shade that portion to the right of 550. Step number two, find the Z value for 550 grams. Then we have Z is equal to 550 minus the mean 700 over the standard deviation 155 and this is equal to negative 0.97. This means that 550 grams of waste a day is negative 0.97 or 0.97 of a standard deviation below the mean of 700. Step 3. Use the z-distribution table to find the area under the normal curve to the right of z is equal to negative 0.97. So we have negative 0.9 and then 0 0.07. These two values intersect at 0 0.1660. We know that from the table, we get the area to the left of a z value. Hence, we subtract 0 0.1660 from 1 and we get 0 0.8340. Hence, the probability that an individual selected at random generates more than 550 grams of waste a day is 83.40%. If given percentages, specific data values may be obtained using the standard normal distribution. Let us have this example. To qualify for SHS Mathematical Society membership, a candidate must be in the top 10% scorers on a qualifying exams. The examination has a mean of 130 and a standard deviation of 10. Assume that scores are normally distributed, what must be the lowest score for a candidate to qualify? Here is our suggested solution. 
Let X be the score that cuts off the upper 10% of the area under the normal distribution curve. So we have X to the right of the mean which is 130 and shaded portion is to the right of X. For step 1, since the upper 10% represents the area to the right of X, we subtract 10% or 0 0.1000 from 1 to get the area to the left of X. Hence, the area to the left of X is 1 minus 0 0.1000 that is equal to 0 0.9000. For step 2, we use the Z table to find the Z value that corresponds to 0 0.9000. Since there is no exact value for 0.9000 in the standard normal distribution table, the closest one must be considered which is 0.8997, where the corresponding Z value is 1.28. For step 3, substitute the Z value, the mean, and the standard deviation in the formula to get the value of X. So we have 1.28 is equal to x minus 130, the mean, over 10, the standard deviation. Multiplying both sides of this equation by 10, we get 12.8 is equal to x minus 130. Add 130 to both sides, then we get 12.8 plus 130, so x is equal to 142.8. The value of x is rounded off to a whole number since examination scores are usually given in whole numbers. So a score of 143 should be used as a cutoff. A candidate must score at least 143 in order to qualify for SHS Mathematical Society membership. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.